Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. We begin today in Rogers County talking with a pecan grower who, like many other growers in the area, recently had some unwanted guests show up in the orchard. SUNUP's Curtis Hare picks up the story from there. I pick up limbs about every day and uh, I was quite surprised that we had this infestation on these bagworms. Billy Clark is going on 50 years as a pecan grower here in Rogers County, and he's never seen anything like this. Because I was only on the impression that they attacked cedar trees, but uh, to my alarm, that's not the case. Uh, about three weeks ago, I got an email from a, a client. She had uh, sent a picture with it, uh, showed bagworms hanging from her hackberry trees all around her house, and I thought, this is odd. I've, I've just never seen that, that big of infestation. And then Bill Clark called me a couple days later and I came out here to visit his place and the bagworms were really that bad. The bagworms are pretty much gone for the most part, but the full extent of the damage they've left behind is still to be determined. It's not going to affect anything this year unless it's going to uh, affect us next year. Because, uh, you know, the leaves this year uh, determines a lot on what you're going to do for next year. Well, it was, it's kind of a uh, catch-22 because a lot of the pecan growers in this area don't really have a crop that they're trying to protect. And since these don't really attack, you know, the pecans themselves, but go after the leaves, it, it's, it's probably a good idea to, uh, if you're managing them intensely, to do a spray once you see the damage because you don't want the leaves to be completely gone. Uh, that, that affects next year's crop also. It's been a rough growing season for producers in this area. Before the worms showed up, a late April freeze arrived and may have ended this year's crop. It wasn't a very heavy freeze. It wasn't on very long, but it doesn't take very long either uh, to knock your pecans off. And uh, I think that was uh, pretty much the deciding factor uh, as well as going to have a crop or not. Uh, so uh, we've, we've had two or three years, it was pretty depressing, but that's part of farming for everyone. It's, uh, some of the neighbors seem to think there might be some up in the top, which we can't determine that, but if it's just a few, uh, uh, we just have to leave those for the squirrels and blue jays, because you can't harvest a 10 or 20% crop. It costs you just as much to run around that tree and same amount to go over the cleaning table. If Billy's learned one thing in his 50 years of the farming life, things can go up just as quick as they went down. Maybe maybe we're getting enough rest uh, this year uh, that there'll be a big crop and a, a good size and fill out good and everything will go our way. In Rogers County, I'm Curtis Hare.